over two decades of civil conflict and ongoing clan hostility that erupted after the overthrow of the military regime of Siad Bari in 1991 left the Galmudug region in turmoil. Today, youth in the region suffer one of the highest unemployment rates in the world, leaving them vulnerable to human trafficking, crime and violent extremism. Many disenfranchised youth in the region began setting up illegal roadblocks to extort money out of travelers as both a source of income and an outlet for their frustration. <laughs> In November 2014, concerned Galkayo citizens asked USAID's Transition Initiatives for Stabilization Project to design a locally owned conflict mitigation initiative that would negotiate the dismantling of five illegal roadblocks at key junctions between the capital city, Galkayo, and Hadado. The first step in this initiative involved a USAID-facilitated three-day workshop that trained 20 members from Galmudug Women's Association, a local civil society organization, in conflict mitigation skills. Once trained, the GMA hosted a conflict mitigation conference attended by 75 stakeholders from the five afflicted districts. The conference produced a strategy for mitigating and negotiating the dismantling of the roadblocks, including the formation of a 15-member arts and culture steering committee to design and oversee the awareness-raising campaign. The committee then carried out a three-week awareness-raising campaign by utilizing mobile theater, billboards, radio, and school poetry competitions. The final stage of the initiative involved a delegation of stakeholders from the conference traveling to all five districts to engage local community members. The delegation visited schools and met with community elders to promote the dangers of illicit roadblocks and other illegal activities. Why is that? 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 Why is